Okay, so this is in dem a, a demonstration of capital extension. And the thing to remember about this is the you're gonna have to have the patient flip depending upon what they can do. So your zero, one, and two are all done in the supine position because we need it to be anti-gravity. And then if they're able to do this, then we flip them over and three, four, and five are all gonna be in the prone position off the table. So again, we're just looking the same as we did for capital flexion, just the head nod stuff. You shouldn't see full neck extension going on. It's just that little head nod as they're coming up. And so for zero, one, and two, what you do is you're gonna put your hands behind their head so that way you can kind of feel those really high cervical extensors. And for a zero, you're not gonna feel any motion at all. You're gonna tell them to try to just nod backwards with their head. There's gonna be no motion and you're not gonna feel any kind of muscle activity. Then for a one, you would ask them to nod their head back and you're not gonna feel any motion, but you are going to actually feel a little bit of muscle activity. And then for a two, what you're gonna tell them to do is again, nod their head back. And what you're gonna feel is just pressure into your hands as they come back. So I just say, okay, just need to you to nod, but bring your head backwards instead of forwards. And so you would feel that pressure, but not a whole lot of head motion. And if they do have some head motion, it's okay, but it wouldn't be like full, like posterior tilt as it happens. So there might be a little bit, but again, remember we're going with gravity. So you're not gonna see the full thing. Then you would ask your patient to flip over into the prone position and their head needs to be all the way off the table and you need to have one hand and I would say your hand that's closest to the wall needs to be here and it should be basically under their chin so that way it can be protective in case they can't hold it. And then what they would start in is in a nice neutral position and you would ask them to do that post your nod and again you're not looking for neck extension this should all be nice and flat and you'd say okay can you just nod your head backwards towards the ceiling and if they can do that and go through the full motion go ahead then that right there is a three then you'd have them come back and then you would push against them and ask them to do the same thing for a four but again you would see them come partially back maybe not through the full motion against resistance or they're just not going to be able to hold it and have them come back and then when you want to do a five, they're going to actually really be able to extend their uh, upper C-spine against resistance. So go ahead. And then they would be able to hold it without me pushing them down for a second or two. Okay, great.